Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Sony Xperia M4 with me and in this video we'll be doing the gaming review with this device and we'll also be checking the temperatures to see how it performs because it's having a Snapdragon 615 chipset and uh, I'm in an AC room, I've set the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius but the AC is not uh, uh, the, uh, it's a little bit away from me so as you can see the ambient temperature around this area is around 27 degrees celsius and as you can see right now the phone is exhibiting a temperature of about 28 degrees celsius so let's do some gaming and i've already done the unboxing of this device so you can check out that for a general overview so we'll start with dead trigger this is dead trigger and we just have one speaker uh, this is the speaker it's a front firing speaker hence it's actually pretty loud and some of you were also asking me about this sticker over here it's just a sticker uh, you can remove it it just shows that it's a dulcim device because in some uh, other parts of the world uh, this Xperia M is sold with a single SIM, but in India, it's the dual SIM variant that we are getting. So moving to another level now. And as you can see, it's able to handle this uh, actually pretty well. Again, it's not a very heavy game. We'll also try some heavy games a bit later. But with many of the earlier Xperia devices, uh, and this is also water resistant, the speaker output was not that loud, but that's not the case with this one. As you can see, it's fairly loud, I would say. So as you can see, it's running this one actually very well. Nice. So let me just get out of this one and let's move to heavier games now. So this is Asphalt 8. Let me actually show you the settings. As you can see, uh, we are playing it at the default medium settings and I'm using the on-screen steering. So let's play a few levels. So this is Asphalt 8 and I'm using the on-screen steering. And some of you were also asking me about the uh, storage. Uh, the one that is sold in India, the Dulcim variant, comes with 16 gigs of internal storage. And we also have a micro SD card. Uh, so storage is not an issue. In some other regions, uh, Sony is also sending an 8GB variant. Uh, so you have to be aware of that. But in India, uh, this dual SIM variant uh, comes with 16 gigs of internal storage. Actually, you can watch my unboxing video to get a general overview. And as you can see, it's running this one actually pretty well. But I do notice that the sound output is not very loud in this uh, game. Uh, that's the thing that I've noticed with the sound. In some games uh, it's pretty loud but in some it's not that loud. But as you can see I'm trying the drifts etc. And uh, it's handling it uh, without any issue. Even the touch uh, screen sensitivity is very good. And uh, now the device is sort of getting warm. I can feel the heat at the back and even uh, on the screen near this uh, steering. So we'll look at the temperatures in a minute or two. But in terms of gameplay, as you can see, it's handling this uh, Asphalt 8 uh, very well. I do not notice any lagginess 
or drop frames so let's do one thing let's uh, look at the temperatures and see and here as you can see it's already touching about 47 degrees centigrade uh, uh, near the screen and near the earpiece it's about 48 degrees celsius this is with about 10 odd minutes of gaming and let's look at the back and as you can see insanely hot at around 54 degrees celsius uh, it's ranging between uh, 48 45 to around 50 to 53 degrees celsius near the camera as you can see insanely hot uh, so it is getting actually very hot uncomfortably hot uh, but let's continue and let's move to another game uh, let's see how it handles nova 3 which is also a pretty heavy game so this is nova 3 and so far it is handling it actually very well i would say but the device is getting very hot uncomfortably hot i would say particularly the back i would say anything over 45 degrees celsius feels very hot too uh, and this is certainly going way beyond that but as of now for gaming it is handling it i don't notice any lagginess and this nova 3 is a pretty heavy game So it is handling it but definitely it is getting very hot, sort of uncomfortably hot I would say. But I don't notice any lagginess so this level is done. So let's look at the temperatures again and again as you can see about 48 degrees Celsius and even about 49 it did touch around the screen. Let's look at the back here it was getting actually very hot. And again, as you can see, around the 52, 53 degrees, it did touch 54, yeah, as you can see, 54, 55 degrees Celsius. And it's waning, it's actually pretty high near the camera area. But here down, if you go, yes, uh, here uh, where it says, N, that's the NFC chip is around, it is hovering around the 50 degrees uh, Celsius mark. So actually very hot, I would say, 54 degrees Celsius extremely hot that's the problem with many of the snapdragon 615 chipset they get extremely hot when uh, the device is stressed uh, let's quickly now move to modern combat so this is modern combat 5 a fps game and we'll play this for about two or uh, two three minutes and let's look at the temperatures because the device is getting very hot i would say let's see if uh, it exhibits any throttling issues you do the heating again the sound output is not very loud again on this uh, game And I notice a little bit of choppiness here and there. Looks like it is throttling a little bit now. But again, in terms of gameplay, it's very much playable, I would say. But for the most part, it's handling it fine. Uh, as you can see now, it's handling it fine. But the device is actually pretty hot and sort of uncomfortable now. 
and do uh, remember guys this is in an ac environment uh, if you're going to do gaming outdoors or in a non ac environment the temperatures will go even uh, higher so you have to be aware of that Let's look at the temperatures now. It's been about 18 odd minutes again around the 46 47 degrees Celsius mark I would say and here on the back again uh, the same thing actually it's not heating up that much It's this 53 But in Nova 3 as we saw it did uh, go even higher But certainly uh, anything above 45 degrees centigrade is sort of uncomfortable I would say and this is uh, going definitely above 50 degrees celsius easily even 54 55 so let me just get out of this uh, game uh, the good thing about this device is that it handled the games uh, fine even heavy games like nova 3 and asphalt and modern combat ran actually very well but again as you have seen it does exhibit quite a bit of heating and with about uh, 10 odd minutes of gaming or so the temperatures can go very high uh, around 54 55 degrees celsius which is insanely high hence if you're sort of a heavy gamer i would not recommend you this device i'll also be posting the full in-depth review for this xperia m4 very soon so stay tuned to my channel thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video